the number of people that come out of high school not knowing that slavery was an institution that obtained almost everywhere on earth yeah and that actually thinks slavery was unique or mostly unique to America or even the Western hemisphere yeah. or even uh, the, the few hundred years between say the 16th century and the, and yeah. the 19th century. The number of students that actually believe that that's somehow unique when slavery is, is, is an institution that's been, that's been practiced on every inhabited continent for about 10,000 years yeah. um, is astonishing and quite damning of our educational system. So, it, you know, it's, it's no wonder kids come out of high school and college believing that America has been uniquely sinful um, in its I, history. I have a lot of these kids tell me that our whole economy was more successful in the rest of the world because we had slavery. Like they literally, they literally believe this. It's crazy. Well, it's absurd. If they, if they knew that the Aztec had slavery, uh, that, that mo all the slaves that were brought here were already slaves in Africa. Okay. Uh, they, they weren't captured like Kunta Kinte. They were slaves enslaved by other African tribes and then sold for, for goods to, to Europeans. Um, Korea had slavery throughout its entire history. China had slavery. Japan had slavery. Um, it's like, it's been everywhere. Um, yeah, but, uh, and that's to say nothing of Roman and Greek. And, and, and yet only the US is as wealthy as, as we were. So it's not, um, it's not really a scientific analysis there. Yeah, no, it's, it's very frustrating. You know, you, you mentioned earlier some of the people on the other side of this, obviously, Robin <laughs> D'Angelo, Ibram Kendi, some people who, I think they're not very sophisticated, I, but you know, they're definitely appealed to a lot of people. A lot of CEOs have invited these people to come speak and pay them to speak to their companies. Like, has any CEO of a big company invited you yet to come speak? Is that, they, are they courageous enough to do that or is that scary for them? Um, one or two, but there are people that are probably friends of yours that you know <laughs> that are very much CEOs in your specific network yeah. and are the exceptions to the rule. 